About 2 billion years ago, a massive asteroid crashed into Earth, leaving behind total destruction and what we now call the Vreda Fort Crater in South Africa. And get this, this space invader might have been way bigger than scientists originally thought, possibly twice the size of the asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs. Nowadays, the Vreda Fort Crater is about 99 miles across, which makes it the biggest visible crater on Earth. But technically, it's still smaller than the Chicxulub Crater in Mexico. The latter is about 112 miles, and it was left by the infamous dinosaur distractor 66 million years ago. But the thing is, craters don't stay the same forever. Over time, erosion wears them down. That's why they start looking smaller than they used to. And scientists think that when the Vreda Fort Crater first formed, it could actually reach 174 miles across. That means it was the biggest impact site Earth has ever seen, even though it looks smaller today. Just imagine how insane that impact must have been. A space rock that would have sent shockwaves ripping across the planet, triggered enormous wildfires, and completely changed the climate. The asteroid likely hit Earth at a very, very high speed. But since this catastrophe happened billions of years ago, way before dinosaurs or even complex life saw the light of day, it didn't wipe anything out like the Chicxulub asteroid did. At the same time, recently, researchers have realized that the asteroid might have been even bigger than they thought previously, up to 15.5 miles wide. As for the speed at which it slammed into Earth, it could reach a staggering 56,000 miles per hour. Now, figuring out how big Vreda Fort originally was, that's been a bit of a headache. The main issue is that it's super old, and we're talking about 2 billion years old. No wonder that over that much time, erosion has kind of worn it down. So it's hard to tell just how huge it once was. But it's not just erosion causing the problem. Over the years, new layers of rock have built up over parts of the crater, and they've covered up most of the original structure. That's why now only little pieces of the raised rim are left, and this makes it even harder to get a clear idea of how big it was. So, scientists started looking at the minerals around the crater, like quartz and zircon. They discovered that those were all messed up by the asteroid's impact. They had tiny fractures caused by the blast. Researchers studied those damaged crystals and managed to figure out how far the explosion actually spread. Equipped by this new knowledge, scientists now believe that their latest estimates of the size of the asteroid are the most accurate ones. The reason why we haven't heard much about this disastrous impact is that, unlike the Chicxulub asteroid, which wiped out the dinosaurs and reshaped life on Earth, the Vreda Fort asteroid hit at a time when Earth was a very different place. There were no trees, no animals, just single-celled life in the oceans. That means no mass extinction, no burning forests, no fossilized evidence of chaos. But scientists think it still had a massive impact on the planet. It might have changed the climate even more dramatically than the asteroid that ended dinosaurs. But since we don't have much direct evidence of the disaster, studying what's left of the Vreda Fort crater is one of the only ways to understand just how powerful this impact was. Even though it happened billions of years ago, learning about this impact can help us understand the history of our planet, and maybe even prepare for future asteroid threats. After all, they could be similar to what happened in Siberia at the beginning of the 20th century, pretty recently. It was a warm morning, June 30th, 1908, when the sky suddenly lit up with a blinding flash. What followed was an explosion so powerful that it remained a mystery for decades. Known as the Tunguska event, it was one of the most baffling disasters in history. Scientists suspected an asteroid impact, similar to the one that wiped out the dinosaurs. But there was one eerie problem. No crater was ever found. The explosion struck deep in the remote forests of Siberia, near the Podkemenaya Tunguska River. The blast was beyond anything seen before, flattening around 80 million trees across an area of 830 square miles. The sheer force of the event was mind-boggling. It was strong enough to devastate the landscape, scorch the ground, 
and wipe out countless animals. According to witnesses, there was an eerie glow in the sky, which was followed by a streaking fireball with an intense bluish light. It was brighter than the sun. Moments later, there was a deafening blast. The shockwave was so powerful that it shattered windows hundreds of miles away, and people were knocked off their feet. Yet, despite the destruction, the source of the explosion left no obvious trace. Later, scientists finally started to understand what had occurred on that day. Imagine a meteoroid racing into Earth's atmosphere, transforming into a blazing meteor. It's traveling so fast that the air in front of it compresses and heats up, setting it on fire. But it's so large that it doesn't just burn up all of a sudden, it explodes. When that happens, the blast releases so much energy that a powerful shockwave spreads out. And since the explosion happens in the air, it leaves no impact crater. Back in the early 1900s, with limited technology and the remote location, scientists were left with a puzzle. Only much later did they eventually conclude it had been an airburst, where an object explodes high in the atmosphere, never striking the ground but releasing enough energy to devastate the area. Most likely, it was a giant asteroid about the size of a 25-story building. It could have been moving at around 33,500 miles per hour and exploding about 3 to 6 miles above Earth's surface. Another wild story happened back in the late 90s, but it wasn't Earth that was affected. A comet got stuck in orbit around Jupiter. One day, it got too close and Jupiter's immense gravity broke it apart turning it into a bunch of pieces. Some of them were as big as half a mile across. Scientists were curious because they didn't know what would happen when those pieces hit the planet. And in July 1994, the moment came. The comet's broken up pieces started crashing into Jupiter, one after the other. Over six days, 21 chunks of the comet smashed into the planet at insane speeds, like 37 miles per second. That's more than 130,000 miles per hour. The impacts were so powerful that they heated up Jupiter's atmosphere to a mind-boggling 53,000 degrees Fahrenheit, which is way hotter than the sun's surface. When each chunk hit, it sent massive plumes of material flying out of Jupiter, like when you throw a rock into a pond, but way bigger. Some of these plumes shot up almost 1,900 miles into the sky. Afterward, Big, dark scars appeared in Jupiter's atmosphere, and they stayed visible for months as the debris spread out across the planet. But this wasn't just a cool space event. Scientists actually learned a lot from it. Those dark impact marks helped scientists track the winds in Jupiter's stratosphere. The crashes even caused temporary changes in Jupiter's glowing auroras, showing that the planet's magnetic field was affected by particles from the explosions. Plus, the comet fragments didn't just make a mess, they also left behind new chemicals in Jupiter's atmosphere. Plus, some chemicals were also exhumed from the lower atmosphere. Some molecules like ammonia broke down over time, but others, like hydrogen cyanide and water, are still floating around Jupiter today. This helped scientists understand how different chemicals react and mix in Jupiter's atmosphere. Comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 was a wake-up call. It proved that massive space collisions still happen in our solar system. That's one big reason why NASA started looking into how we can track and prepare for any future impacts that might threaten Earth. Whether it's learning more about asteroids and comets, or about how giant impacts shape planets, the importance of such discoveries is undeniable. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.